Hi everyone, my name is Nicole. I work at the Michigan Humane Society Berman Center for Animal Care in Westland. I'm going to start off this morning with a kitten because who doesn't love a kitten? And so this is lemongrass and lemongrass came into MHS as a stray and a good Samaritan found her roaming the streets in Dearborn Heights all by herself. Obviously, she's too little to be by herself, um, so they brought her to us for us to evaluate her to see if she would be an adoption candidate. And she was a little too young to go up for adoption with us here, so we had her in a foster home for just a couple of weeks or so, so that she could get up to a nice healthy weight to be on her own in a home environment. And so now she is at that age and she is microchipped and she is scheduled to get spayed within the next couple days and so she is all set to find her forever home. So lemongrass, as you can tell, even if, like if you've seen our other episodes and you've seen kittens that I've shown before, this is really mellow for a kitten. So um, she is a weird one, but in a great way. She's love, she loves cuddles. She's just purring up a storm. Can you hear it? Can you hear it? So she is very, very cuddly. So I think she'd do great in just any type of home. If you have young kids, she's just dealing with it. <laughs> We've been messing with her all day. Um, and she is just up for anything. So if you just want to have a cute, cuddly kitten that might play, I think lemongrass is a good fit for you. Hang in there. Waiting for you. We'll be right back. Calling all local businesses and community members. The Canton Cares Fund needs your support. The fund, provided through the Canton Community Foundation, lends financial support to Canton Township-sponsored programs assisting seniors, veterans, youth, and the disabled, as well as programs that assist Canton residents following a natural disaster, mass casualty, or significant personal loss. The Canton Cares Fund also supports programs recognizing heroic acts of township employees. So what can you do to help? Go to the Canton Community Foundation's website at cantonfoundation.org to become a sponsor or donor today. Welcome back everyone. I have an exciting second guest with us. So this is Pansy. She is estimated to be two to three years old and a Labradoodle. We don't get those very often. Um, and so she's a very special girl for us to have. And Pansy, as you might be able to tell as we keep on with this part of the episode, she is quite shy. And sometimes that is their, the dog's nature in the shelter, but that might not necessarily be true in a home. As much as we do our best to make sure that animals are as comfortable here at MHS as possible until they're adopted, there's only so much we can do because it is a weird and stressful environment. No, you know, and that's just the nature of it sometimes. So in a home, Pansy might warm up really well. She is a super sweet girl and is saying hi to all the crew that she's never met before here and everything like that. And so I really anticipate that she'll be a very well-adjusted girl when she's in a home environment and settled after maybe a month or two. Um, but right now she is just telling me that she is a very sweet girl that is just a little apprehensive in new situations. Um, she might be playful when she's more comfortable and has time to adjust and gets to know everybody a little bit. Because of her shy nature, she'll probably do best in a home with older children that understand that she does need time to get to know you before you are your full self. So Pansy was found in the city of Canton as a stray. Our anim one of the animal control officers for the city found her running around with a leash on her. So we're not quite sure what had happened there. If maybe she got um, away from somebody taking her for a walk or whatnot. And so because she is a stray, um, we don't have a whole lot of history on her, so we don't know if she's good with cats, dogs, younger children, um, and it's really hard for us to, you know, judge an animal completely and how they're going to be in a home when we're just getting to know them in a shelter environment. 
So we always encourage people to really plan on taking the time to come and know the animals instead of it just being a few minutes in a room. We really think it's important that you plan on being here with the whole family to make sure that she's everything that you are looking for and that you give her a real chance to kind of get to know her a little bit. So Pansy is already spayed and we microchipped her upon her evaluation. And a really fun thing is because we believe that she's a Labradoodle, they are hypoallergenic. So if you are normally allergic to dogs, she might be a really good fit for you. And we do have private, private acquaintance rooms for y'all to get to know her a little bit. And so you can spend as much time as you like with her and see if she maybe irritates you if allergies are a problem for you with dogs. And that's a really good perk about these about this breed is that they don't have that dander that usually causes an allergic reaction in some people. But I'm not a doctor, so don't take my word for it, but definitely come and meet her and keep that in mind. So guys, if you were interested in adopting lemongrass, pansy, or any other animal for, from the Michigan Humane Society, your first step would be to fill out an adoption application. And you could do that at any of our adoption locations. Um, we have one in Westland, Rochester Hills, Livingston, and Detroit. And we also have a adoption area in our uh, Petco location in Sterling Heights. And so you have lots of places to choose from. You can also start by filling out that application on our website, michiganhumane.org. However, you do have to print that out, fill it out, and bring it with you to your location of choice. Once an adoption counselor goes over that application with you, we are going to set you up in a private room with an adoption counselor to get to know the pet that you're interested in a little bit and answer any questions that you may have. And if you feel like it's the right fit, most animals, like the ones that we showed today, will go home the same day.